I want to get one thing out of the way first because some people get this confused. A noob is just someone that is new to the game. There's nothing wrong with this and in fact it's encouraged. And this is part of the reason I made this channel was to help new players get into fighting games. We all have to start somewhere, myself included. But scrubs are different. These are players who generally aren't new, but instead blame their losses on anything but themselves, often with detrimental effects to the community. Like this guy! <laughs> Skynet says, you pathetic, no skill, uh, looks like a game reward. Maybe if, if you're a little sleuth, you could probably figure that one out. Win by luck, not by skill, trash. Another game reward? I think these are two different game rewards. I, I have a lot of experience in game rewards, what can I say? Uh, prove me right about you, embarrassing little game reward boy. He's saying friend. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He's saying friend. My bad. I, I don't know why they sense in friend, but these are the kind of players I'm talking about. And the cool thing is with Street Fighter 6 replay review, we can actually see how lucky Mr. Citrus was. So we have to, we have to go to June 7th and fi try to find Mr. Citrus. It should be it should be around here somewhere. Oh, we found it. Yes, let's go. OK, they're a master player. I mean, we don't know if they're actually a true 1500, right? Because my a lot of people, what happens is they actually play like they get the the, the how do I say the MR resets and then they just don't play ranked, right? So we don't know if this guy's actually a true 1500 or not. Yeah, modern gal. I don't feel like modern gal's that good, but yeah, I feel like the, like a mirror match like this has to be one of the least lucky matchups ever. Also, if they're like the thing is, like if if I feel like someone was lucky, right? And, like if they beat me and I feel like they're they were lucky, I'll just play them again. <laughs> like I'm like, I'll beat your ass if, if you were lucky, right? Like this person probably won and done and just said they're lucky. But all right, these kind of mirror matches, I feel like the person that gets impatient first generally loses, right? Because Gao is just so strong on the ground and his anti airs are good and his boom game is really good. So the person that kind of like circumvents that and does suboptimal stuff first is going to lose. This guy that's already jumped twice, 10 seconds into the match. <laughs> Three times into the match. How is this look? You're just jumping and getting anti aired. I, I'm 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 still waiting for the luck. Still waiting for you di'd for no reason. Still waiting for the luck. Okay, that was that was a lucky jump. Although you didn't even like punish him. See, you got you got lucky here, but you could have like done 3k damage instead. You got throw. All right, all right. Here comes the mix. All right, good patience. Okay, you know what? That that was a little lucky. That di was a little lucky. I'll, I'll, I'll give Skynet a little bit benefit of the doubt. Oh, that was a good combo. That, that, that DI was, <laughs> was a little lucky. Hold up. But that... Fourth? Bro. Fourth jump? Are you gonna jump again? Oh, you could've got DI back. No combo? I don't know, bro. There's a, there's a lot of not luck here. Decent footsies, though. All right. Ooh, okay. That's good. This is such a funny... Ma I feel like I'd never see this mirror match. All right. Got a little predictable with the booms. I wouldn't call that luck. No ant. Oh. Okay. Where's the luck come into play? I feel like he's gonna just throw up a jump or something. <laughs> I, I, I kind of see a little bit. I kind of see a little bit. You know, you did get di twice, right? You did get di twice. I, I will give you that. But then just just rematch, bro. <laughs> One, you could argue that's predictable boom timing, right? Like the fact that it worked twice meant you're just a little too predictable with the booms. So you should have hedged against it. But also, like, there's a lot of mistakes you made. You kept jumping. You could have just held your ground with a little less committal options. You could have tried drive rush, which, by the way, I don't think you drive rush once. There, there's a lot you can do, right? That did not come down to luck. I guess I should expect that from a master player. There was like, like, yeah, getting di twice, you could hedge against it. But like, again, you got you got to recognize this shit, especially when you're a master. Like, when someone's di happy, you got you got to hedge around it. Also, like, 
I don't know. I, I don't feel bad calling you. Like, it doesn't matter how lucky he was. Come on, bro. Stop the game rewards. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, this this next I look, I did a video on uh, DSP a while ago, right? And I don't want to do another video on DSP. I learned my lesson, but I do want to talk about because DSP like is all over the scrub quotes Twitter, right? So I feel like it's only fair. I should cover uh, at least a little bit. And this clip, uh, let's take a look. Now, right, they just got, they got hit cross up, right? Which means they just, they just weren't blocking. Couldn't parry, she wins now. It didn't parry. I'm literally holding the middle buttons. I'm literally holding the middle button. She didn't earn the win. The game dropped my parry. As soon as she flipped over, I parried it. Nope. Bullshit. You didn't outplay me. You just waited it out, and the fucking game dropped my input. That's bullshit. That's a bullshit win. You do not <laughs> outplay me in any way, shape, or form. I knew it was coming. I was ready for it. I'm holding the buttons, and it doesn't fucking parry. Bullshit. That pisses me off. Fuck, this stupid gimmick. This all right, all right, all right. You get where this is going, right? Again, I, I think my advice for my previous video stands like if you are that on tilt, don't rematch right away. Like gimmick. you're it's just going to keep going down the tilt rabbit hole. Right. But here's what happened. A perfect parry window is two frames, right? That's very, very hard to time. So a lot of times you will not get a perfect parry and that's to be expected, right? Humans are very bad at timing things in a two frame window, especially when the, the timing's very variable across a bunch of different factors. But DSP did make a critical mistake here. So what happened here? was they just held back against this, right? And they got hit cross up. Cross up indicator happened in the match. And what you actually need to do here, right? Is block this cross up, which is just hit forward. Now, you should be trying to perfect parry this. That is the right response. And so DSP was right there. But all you have to do is hold back and then hit parry. And if you happen to fuck up the parry time, like I did there, you'll end up blocking. And you don't have to risk getting 60% of your health deleted. And then, and if you do it too early, that will happen, right? But it's always it's really important to hedge in case you mistime it because this is something that's very easy to mistime. And what happened was they tried the parry and they were late, which happens all the time. There's nothing wrong with that. And so like my parry, I still had parry, but I was late it, it, and it didn't come out, right? So you always want to hedge by blocking as you parry right it's the same thing with fireballs like i notice a lot of people will try to like like run the fireball and they'll just like get hit because they go for the perfect parry again you can like block at the last second and then parry right and if you just happen to mistime it you block so uh yeah just do that instead dsp i said what else it got <laughs> so there's a lot of rage around akuma this is just akuma equals no skill again I'm not, i don't want to watch this obviously i'm sure there's things this person could have done better Actually, you know what? Let's take a look at this one. Akuma equals no skill. Because this is Diamond 2, there is so much more that you can be doing against Akumas, right? Over 10% of the population that play this game are in Master. So that means you, you have a long way to go, right? Means there's a lot of room for improvement. And I get like, yeah, it actually sucks having to play like a bunch of Akumas. What, what was that? Bro, this isn't Akuma? What, what, what was the input? I'm like looking, I I legitimately do not understand what that was supposed to be. He did jump and then parry? Uh, I mean like, that was the worst bear grab input I've ever seen if that's what he went for. Maybe he went for jab drive rush, but decided to jump? Uh, whatever you're doing, just don't do that, bro. That was, that was terrible. Uh, you just burned yourself out for no reason. Bro, how'd you burn yourself out? Yeah, because they're not burning yourself out. Uh, you're not plus after that, you, but you pretended you are. That's just that's that's not going to work, bro. You just got to block. Wait, wait, where are you grabbing? This has nothing to do with Akuma. All right, I think I've already watched enough. But there's a lot of things that you can do and to improve your geef gameplay that are not dependent on the matchup, right? Like whatever the fuck this was, probably, probably more back heavy punch, maybe more overhead, maybe a little safer options, um, maybe less jump. All right, I've seen enough. I, I'll give this guy a pass though. 
You know, like he's not one done every Akuma. One done is not the worst thing. There is worst things you can do. All right, script code number three. You fucking noob. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, first of all, this guy can't spell. Uh, maybe it's like eight or something. So I will have to give him the benefit of the doubt. Doing f f f f scrub. F f what, what is this? F fuck him. F fuck him. <laughs> Is it that bad? You just can't type properly? What? How do you say this? <laughs> Scrub? <laughs> Learn to play, you suck. Obviously, Excel won. Scrubby spammer, you trash. Delete game new, whatever, bro. Thanks for the practice. <laughs> then need the good warm up. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this, bro. Angry beast. Obviously, it's very obvious that you're angry, bro. You don't need to have that in your name. This guy's another master. I guess Akuma is carried. It's so crazy that the last time I did this, most of the scrubs were like in diamond or like platinum. And now the MR has like, the MR is inflated so much that now all these guys are a master. Kinda crazy. Fucking noob, what are you doing scrub? All right, I'm curious to see what's scrubby about this. Okay, round start overhead, sure. My man, my man's very, uh, playing like an angry beast. Okay, yeah, you just got anti -red. I feel like this is kind of the counter to someone that's really, really aggressive and just likes to drive rush and goes in is like a really patient guy. So I can kind of see, like, what's, what's going on here. All right, you burn yourself out instantly. Not sure if I agree with that. You could probably just then, like, fireball. You gotta be really careful with that. People will fuzzy that. All right, got hit by a DI. I feel like that's a common theme. People just don't like getting hit by DI. Uh, this is why you don't burn yourself out. People do not like lame Gal. Yeah, that's the thing. Against Gal, you have to be a lot more careful with the air fireball, right? Because the thing is, like, Akuma's air fireball can go through a lot of different character stuff. But there's certain characters like Gal that can counter it pretty hard. I, I think he's already on tilt. He has enough to do. <laughs> He's just teabagging? Okay. Uh, I don't agree with that. The, the super does absolutely nothing and you have Warsoki here, right? You kind of just, you should have just went in the sweep and then like did nothing else. Yeah, you gotta parry the booms, I don't have to tell you. All right, well, I mean, you threw him, but now, like, now you're just fucked. What are you gonna... Bro, you just kept jumping. So the thing with Guile, there's a couple different ways to approach this character, right? But that happens... That went by so fast. <laughs> what fucking noob. What are you doing, fucking scrub? I feel like this is the most standard Guile play I've ever seen, right? He's just doing the shit Guile players normally do. Like, I don't, I don't understand. What, uh... <laughs> What this guy is doing that tilted him so bad? And this guy is just literally just playing textbook, bro. So the the kind of guys, right? Like they're just holding down back and you're not sure what to do. Just walk them down, right? You with Akuma, you have really good walk speed. Your forward heavy punch, better frames than the boom, leads into more damage. So if they let you get in close, which this guy is doing, he's just literally like, all right. Like once you get here, all right, you're close, right? Like just instead of going for overhead, which is like obviously really risky, doesn't give you much reward. Just start chucking out some forward heavy punches. Try to counter hit a normal when he gets into that range or counter hit the start of a boom. And then you start your game plan, right? Like what does this overhead get you? Same thing, why are you? Why are you thinking these overheads? Okay. Uh, you can, all right, so you're in a good position. I, I would recommend like neutral jumping some booms because if you neutral jump a boom and then he can't throw another boom because there's already a boom on the screen, right? Ah, uh, yeah, we talked about the sweep. Again, you got you got watch the burnout, right? Yeah, no, all right. All right, you're just you're just gonna hit by random booms. And I think they just yeah burn themselves out, and then you literally lost the game when you did that right here. Yeah, yeah. so neutral jump, walk him down. Like, Akuma has really good walk speed. Just because Akuma has a really good air fireball and demon flow doesn't mean you have to use it, right? You still have really good walk speed, forward heavy punch, and play a little bit more patient. Make him overcommit to a boom, and then, then time your jump properly. 
Oh, yeah, I see this guy was on tilt. Okay, I, I, I get it, right? So you lost one, two, three, four, and then you, you run into the gal and then you just get on tilt. I understand. I understand. You're taking some L's. Also, this was a ranked match. How'd they talk after? Did, like, this guy hunt him down or something? How do you, how do you hunt someone down? They inv oh! Oh, that's some big brain tech. Oh! Uh, <laughs> so... So he invited them to a custom room just so he could talk shit? Nah, that's crazy. That's that's fucking big brain as, as hell, bruh. <laughs> One and done. Invite the custom room and talk shit. That's that's big brain. I actually think I did get one of those off stream. I, I won't name no names, but someone wouldn't have money matched me. I was like, bro, are you fucking serious? Like, why would you just money match some random person you don't even know online? <laughs> But yeah, that's that's fucking funny as shit. I need, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start accepting all of them now. I didn't I didn't put together the connection. I think I've gotten other custom room invites, but I'm like I just want to keep grinding ranked. I need I need to start farming scrub quotes, boys. <laughs> yeah, they want to money match me online. Like, bro, what? First of all, I was on, I was on my second account. Like, how do you even know I'll pay out? Like, you don't even know who I am. Like, I could just say yes and then then dip if I lose, right? So, like, I expect the same thing from them. All right, let's see what else we got. So, I feel like I gotta cover this one. This one's just kind of hilarious. I don't rematch waifu players. I'm a psychologist. This, this is just, like, absolutely insane. I don't rematch waifu players because I know 110% the person behind the screen is a virgin that trembles at the sight of a woman in real life. So go ahead, keep playing dress up tech and jerk off. <laughs> okay, sure. You could try to find a way to defend all you want. I'm a psychologist. I know that people are obsessed with female characters in a video game, especially Tekken. Either are virgins that are ugly, low self-esteem, IRL, or have gender identity issues. Sure? <laughs> I mean, maybe jury players, right? But like everyone else, come on. A psychologist, by the way. I, I guarantee you anybody, this, this guy's not a psychologist. If, if they are a psychologist, they, they're they definitely like the worst psychologist. They took Psych 101 and they call themselves a the psychologist, bro. <laughs> so as a fellow waifu player, I gotta defend the waifus. I, I don't get the point, like, why would you not rematch though? Like, I understand like you might think there's some people that are like kind of freaky and like play their waifu. I've ran into some people that like their club is like jury feet enjoyer or some shit, right? But like why like why would I not play them? <laughs> like I get that's the weird thing. Like why are you one and done these people? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, bro. I think it's just like an excuse to that like that's the most twisted logic. Like I, I get the vibe that this person is blaming their losses because the the person's uh i don't know uh, ugly virgin okay sure <laughs> what is that fucking logic all right we can take a look at one more oh actually i want to talk about this one there's no honor in modern day fighting games it's all about touch the desk infinite juggles and how long you can keep your opponent from pressing a button I, I, that feels like a lot of buzzwords to me, but okay, sure. I'm good at teching Street Fighter and dog the amount of people flowcharting and following what streamers do as a, as a streamer. I'm interested in this. Do even in situations where you should do other things or other options are better, they still do combos that people found for them. Yeah, so yeah, people will copy what streamers do. Generally, streamers are pretty good at the game. It makes sense. But at the same time, what separates the best players from like the middle players is, is once you get to a certain point, like you don't copy pe what people are doing. And instead, you have to innovate yourself, right? So yeah, you're correct in that part where if you want to get really good at the game, you have to start finding your own shit. Then they go off on a tangent about game center around touch of death combos. I feel like there's, there's more touch of death combos before like in street fighter 2 and marvel than there are now i can't think of like one touch of death combo in like a modern fighting game okay sure uh that was kind of random it's about following the cool people nowadays instead of getting good yourself that's why you see the same name stuck in low ranks when you but i this i can't even make sense of this, this comment bro but if I, I i do want to mention like this is obviously a salt post because people are just flow charting and they're losing right having a good flow chart is really important and copying from people that are good is also really important right you can come up with your combos yourself but it's so hard it's like reinventing the wheel why would you reinvent the wheel when you could just copy what's done and then improve upon the wheel right like it makes absolutely no sense so like i, I guess there's like this kind of like mentality that like oh it's better 
better if I come up with everything myself. But the, the best players, we steal shit from everyone. And that's to be expected because everyone else is. You need to use every advantage that you can. I, I, I don't even get what's... I, I can't make a coherent response because I have no clue what this, this scrub post is about. Yeah, nobody's original anymore. It's not stealing this public information. Yeah, I guess that, that's what I'm trying to say is like, it's okay to steal because everyone else is stealing it, right? But like, he just kind of goes off on tangents. <laughs> no, I, I guess that's, I guess, all right, I, I think I, I'm starting to understand. I'm starting to clueless in my mind what this guy's getting at. The summary post, right? Stealing from other people is not honorable, right? You have to come up with all your own strategies and everything else, which is like completely nonsensical in any type of modern progress. Like you have to steal from people, right? Like you have, that's the whole point of humanity is to build upon, to, you know, stand on the shoulders of giants and build upon your predecessors. I don't fucking know, man. I, I don't get this mindset. No modern and modern fighting games. Well, the thing is in old fighting games, if the guy was throw looping, you could just shank him, right? You could just walk to the other side of the cab and shank him be like, you got no honor. I don't know, bro. I don't know where this is getting at. But it's definitely a scrub quote. The whole point of fighting games is to win or have fun, right? Either way, where you're not learning from other people, then you're putting yourself in such a severe disadvantage. It's actually kind of crazy, right? Like that's the whole, I guess the reason like why I get sort of offended is because I make guides to help people, right? And these guides obviously help people. You know, people will come in and they're like, oh, thank you so much. I just hit master like with your vids, et cetera, et cetera. And I feel like it's part of this mentality that holds us back from like beating Japan or beating other countries. Because if we have people that are like, I need to learn everything myself. And then Japan's like, let's share and teach each other how to play. We're going to get fucked up, right? And yeah, having having fighting games more accessible is like better for everyone, right? But yeah, I have a feeling this guy is definitely stuck in um in mad low. I don't see the same people in low ranks because I never fucking touched the low ranks, even with new characters, right? So I don't yeah, this guy's definitely a scrub. Anyways, uh yeah, like let me know what you guys think about scrub quotes. Glad I could bring this back. I feel like there's been less scrub quotes than usual, like maybe maybe my previous videos helped and uh shaming the scrubs and they're they're making less scrub posts or maybe maybe i feel like all maybe all the scrubs just left the game like like if you stick with a game for a year imagine if you're scrubby for the whole year right like that's that's a lot that's pretty tough <laughs> that's my theory all right that's the new like just gotta take your lps